get into it then. Alright everybody, welcome in. Got a Marco Maps versus Skyro matchup. They're playing on Shrouded Backwards. This is Test Your Metal October. And I am looking forward to seeing how this goes. We've got a Twins Mirror, interestingly enough. What are we going to see here? And, oh, we already see Marco kind of backing up. Whereas Skyro is going far deeper into the center. And that will actually allow them to grab this central village. And if I'm Skyro, am I actually going to try and sneak a capture on this lumber mill? They don't go for it, but the option was there. That is a lot of money they could have potentially stolen off their opponent. And yeah, there we see Marco. Oh, wait a minute. I was talking about Lumber Mill getting yoinked, but it's actually Marco who yoinked the Lumber Mill. And this is... Oh, really bad for Skyro. That's a lot of gold right there. 300 in Lumber. Yeah, just immediately gets cut down. We're gonna see these swords kind of come over here. We've got the knight as well. And sure, Skyro held center, but Marco was actually in a really good position there. I think it was like a slight misstep from Skyro. Because yeah, now we see the golem coming out. Skyro. Gonna have some knights, so can potentially deal with this. Is this a knight crit? No, just a regular night hit. You're still gonna hurt a lot. And twins don't have a particularly amazing place to heal from. But they can just back up. They've got a lot of units to support them as well, so. Not really the end of the world. Oh, we see more night pressure coming in here. Regular night hit on this side as well. I wonder if you want to just position the knight one tile back just to allow for the crit. Oh, and Twin's actually gonna go for the damage there. Yeah, sword. Gonna get picked up, another sword getting picked up as well. is doing a good job on unit count right now. That said, this heavy hitting golem that's gonna be marching across the map is going to be a real big issue. Especially, yeah, it's got a whole bunch of nice units to back it up. It's got a knight and a witch behind it. And looking at the money, we could see maps elect to get any number of units. Could get a dragon, although maybe not so much now, just spent on a heal. More heals come out. Alright, just mage knight. Makes sense, wants to keep their commander on high health. That being said, twins almost have Groove. But we could see them use that to heal instead. And now Skyro. Tempo is actually swinging very much in their favor. Able to kind of win that middle exchange. And this golem, I don't really know about this positioning. It's a bit too central. Maybe would have liked to have seen it more on the left hand side. We're we seeing all right, Mark Go is just gonna swing right. Could have actually positioned a bit more aggressively here. I'm just gonna play it safe for now. Skyro taking advantage of the fact that they have money. We're gonna see them building golems. We could see this lumber mill getting going for the cut. And finally, they just don't have the hideout. Like, yeah, I don't need that at all. Marco, on the other hand, yep, yeah, we see the rifle coming out. Ooh, twins have groove. Big fire groove could have come down here, but no, actually just going to play very passively on this side. I actually really don't like this. I think this village over here was a prime target for getting flipped. The Skyro is just... Slowly gonna hold this map. Slowly advance, take both lumber mills. 
flip both of these central villages. I say central, like central in the terms of like the vertical line. Oh, the Marco. Yeah, they're just gonna slow grind forwards, and oh, here we go, going for a big push now. Takes out. You know, I don't know about this. That's a lot of. I feel like if they were gonna push, it should have been sooner. They don't have a unit to cover the mountain tile. This golem could potentially go down as well. I think we're going to see. Oh, if he was gonna hex, he should have hexed first. Oh, this is a uh, not the best attack. The trebuchet is not in range either. I guess it kind of covers up here. But we're going to see a whole bunch of units starting to go down. I'm potentially going to see some swords getting suicided in here. Yep, first sword comes in. Then we're going to see a knight crit and golem hit. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And I think Marco just went in a bit too quickly. Trebuchet is not in position to support. They had twins. Oh, actually, maybe they're going to try and do something with tier 2. But yeah, that hit on Sedge was not worth it at all. So much damage coming in there. Oh, Dragon. That's really scary. There's two golems as well. Okay. Air Trooper goes down. Twins have Groove. Moves the trebuchet up. Oh, if you're going to fire Groove, you want to do it right now. You don't want to wait. Oh, I'm so worried. Okay, we're going to see another heal. Now comes the Groove. Alright, one unit goes down. Oh, but there's a swords right there. Oh, there's a lot of unit suicides here. I feel like he's just dead. The Jin Sword comes in first. So yeah, we're just going to see more and more swords getting thrown in here. Four health sword. And it doesn't really matter what the order is for these very low health ones. Because yeah, they can all just keep throwing themselves in. And they're only going to do little bits of chip damage here and there. Every tiny point of damage is like huge. Because now... The Night Crit follow up. Actually, are they... Are they safe? Or is this Golem? No, Golem can't get around. Okay, Sedge is going to be able to get some damage. Huh. Did Skyro just blunder? Surely these, the twins are dead. Or did he just miss the mountain tile? That is an, also another important question. It looks like he just missed the mountain tile. Oh no. And this was looking horrible for Marco. And all of a sudden, it's going to completely swing around. Yep, Dragon's going to go down. And like, yeah, just keep throwing things at the enemy. Yeah, you want to get those twins away. You want to get them to some ready. level of safety. I guess Skyro just missed this mountain tile. Which, you know, can happen. Oh, I don't know about that. Probably better off just healing the sword rather than... Hitting a village for basically no damage. Oh, and Skyro's got big money this turn. I think, yeah, just wants to get through. And Sedge. Ooh, getting close to tier 2 now. 156%. Alright, really good mage heal though. Skyro has regrouped a bunch. That being said, Fire Groove is available. 
Treb crit is also available. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Alright. Dog goes down. We're gonna see the sword go down as well. And, oh, I guess he just really wants to go for another tier 2. Nope. Oh, Marco. I really don't know how I feel about... Oh, especially that Scorching Fire. That was... Very risky. He keeps throwing out these grooves at like really inopportune times. Another big mage heal. Which, while great value in terms of gold, is also a lot of gold to spend on something that you don't really want to. Night crit suicide? You don't see that every day. Into a spear as well. Okay. Punches through. These golems are just continuing to be a massive problem for Marco. And despite Skyro having a horrible blunder at a commander lethal, they are holding on. Fire goes away. Rebuchet gets another crit. Marco going to continue to push. Flips this lumber mill back, which is um, very necessary. Twins coming in. We're going to be able to take out the mage. Okay. Mage on a road, so that makes sense. All right. Nice mage crit coming in here. And, oh, I mean, Stronghold's wide open. There needs to be some kind of defense here. The golems can just walk up and kill it. Are we just going to see a commander lethal instead? Yeah, commander next to the road is never something you want to see. Sedge will have groove this turn. He just needs to hit like anything. I mean, unit suicides don't count, but... He has a whole bunch of other units that could just be thrown into like whatever needs to be thrown into. Oh, three unit suicides though. This is the danger of fire. You just weaken up your opponent's army just enough for them to be able to kill your commander with it. Here we see Golem coming in. Yeah, twins are super low. Sedge is going to have Groove. Kills the Trebuchet just for good measure. And Max Rain Sadistic Rush. Yep, twins go down. And Skyro going to take it in a very messy game, actually. Look at that unit count difference. Skyro sacrificed so many units into Commander. Twins got so many kills this game. But unfortunately uh, for maps, Skyro manages to get the lethal on the second try. And I mean, I really think that Marco had a point in the game where he could have been more aggressive and didn't go for it. And there were points when he needed to be more reserved and didn't go for it so it was ahead in the opening so i think like there was definitely potential for marco to win but skyro just overall played a very solid game plan very unfortunate with that one lethal attempt but just it took advantage of the fact that marco uh, couldn't really deal with these golems didn't really have the tools to deal with them. Trebuchet is okay against golems, but you need stuff against. You need stuff in front of it to protect from golems. Because the golem does have five range, it can just walk up and hit the trebuchet while staying out of its range. But yeah, really nicely played there. Okay, we're gonna take the game.